you can catch them before opening day and it is legal what is going on everybody eastern pa fishing here the date is march 11th once again at a delayed harvest creek doing a little trout fishing before statewide opening day hopefully we are about to catch some fish here oh snap there we go first cast nice little rainbow just like that there we go beautiful little stocked rainbow trout to start the day first cast wonder hopefully that means that the action is going to be super hot and he's off let's catch another one off to a good start so far today there we go there's a better fish than the first one number two if we can land him it's like another nice rainbow right off the bat getting some good action number two another pretty rainbow trout get this guy unhooked get him right back once again on the little berkeley three inch trout worm I do not know what it is about the color pink, but it just gets these fish fired up. And he's off. Oh, that is a nicer fish. Didn't even realize this guy was on there for a second. Nice rainbow. Another nice fish. Ooh, he's not done yet. He's gonna do one more little run for us. Number three. Now that is a beauty. Man, I love catching stock trout before opening day. Delayed harvest creeks. I've been getting some silly comments about people saying I'm illegally fishing for trout. But if you haven't already, look it up. Delayed harvest trout fishing in Pennsylvania. You can catch them before opening day and it is legal. At least at creeks like this. Man, this hole is fire. I hate to sit in one spot for so long. But it's hard not to when the fish are biting like this. Let's try the three inch orange peeled colored Berkeley trout worm. I feel like it's such a silly thing for stock trout to eat, but stock trout are pretty silly fish. Let's see if we can get one on this. Looking for number four. Oh, there we go. First cast with the orange peel. Another little rainbow. Number four for the day. Man, this hole is fire on the orange peel. And he's off. Oh, there we go. There's another number five if we can land him. Another rainbow. This hole is chock full of them. There we go, number five. We've been fishing for about 20 minutes now and we've already caught five fish. That is about a fish every five minutes. Oh, this dude is ready to go. Oh, sorry, buddy. Yeah, at least we're standing over the creek. 
drop them safely right back into the water. So what I am doing to optimize this hole is I'm standing at the back of the hole. So I'm casting my lure against the current and I am letting it drift naturally back towards me, giving it a couple little lifts and jigs along the way so it doesn't sit down there and get snagged. Back to the pink real quick. There we go, there's another. Finesse them right on there. Number six. Just felt a very, very tiny little bite. Didn't even have to set the hook too hard. Almost set that like it was a circle hook. Just kind of leaned right into them. Another beautiful bow. Man, that is a beautiful trout. Number six for the day. And he's off. There we go. Number seven. Seven from this one hole. Man, I'm telling you guys, I am so spoiled on trout fishing this year. Check out this trout, guys. Look at that, completely blind in his left eye. It's almost like his eyelid is growing over it. Not the prettiest one of the day, but we will still take him. Number seven. and he's off. Hot action from this hole. I've only been fishing for about 30 minutes now. Seven fish in the bag. I need to move. It's like the one time I've come to a new creek and just sat in one spot in the entire time. Oh boy. I'm trying to make this one interesting, guys. At least if you like seeing me catch a lot of fish. This is a video for you. I just caught one off camera, so I technically have eight, but I guess we won't count it. Just wait till we get the next one here for eight, and then we're gonna head downstream and catch some more fish. Hard for me to turn my back on these guys. On one more. There we go. There is number eight. And another number eight, turning out to be one of the best days of trout fishing in quite some time. There we go. There's another. Alrighty, well, we've been fishing this spot for quite some time now. Was trying to get 10 out of here before I moved, but we have eight in the bag so far, and that is a pretty good haul for the day at this point. We're gonna do a couple more casts in this hole, and then we're probably gonna move downstream. Hopefully find another hole where there's a whole bunch of trout. There we go. Oh, I had him. That was a decent one. There we go. Didn't even feel him on there. Oh, he came off. Did not really get a good hook set on that dude. We spent way too much time in that one spot. Time to explore, hopefully find some more fish. There's a couple nice dead trout in the water here. That means either someone has terrible handling or they're just fishing with live bait, which is kind of crappy. Let's keep moving downstream. I don't want to be seen with these dead fish in front of me. People might get the wrong idea. That's messed up, man. There's another dead trout out there. I swear. So far, we have traveled downstream about a mile. The holes are very far and few in between. This is a pretty shallow and super clear little creek. 
So the trout are gonna be hanging out in the most predictable holes. They're gonna be hanging out in the deeper holes with moving water. So I'm kind of walking away from that now. I'm trying to decide whether or not it's worth it to keep continuing down here. I think I might go to the end of this stretch all the way down to the lower limits of where they stocked, see if I can come across one more hole. If not, I'm gonna head back upstream, hit some of the juicier holes on the way back. And then when we get back to where we parked up the vehicle, we are gonna continue upstream and hopefully find some even juicier holes. Stay tuned, the adventure isn't over yet and we are definitely gonna catch some more fish. Another hole. Let's see if there's anything hanging out here. I think this is the end of the line for where they stocked. So I don't know how much further downstream we're gonna go. Oh my gosh, okay, there's fish here. Man, there's some fish in this hole, but none of them wanna bite. Well, let's keep moving. Making our way to the last spot on the downstream stretch of this creek. Thought I was gonna bust my head there for a second. Thankfully, I didn't. Anyway, this little rip right here is gonna be the last thing we hit before we head back upstream. Didn't really see too many holes here, but this is a delayed harvest stream. They don't stop the heck out of these creeks. This time of year, not seeing anything out there. Not saying that means there isn't anything here, but I'm not seeing anything here. I think we're about to head back upstream. Well, we walked all the way downstream to the lower limits of this creek, and honestly, wasn't really worth it. You know, these delayed harvest stock trout creeks aren't stocked to the brim. They only put enough trout in here to hold people over until opening day. So we are back at the original spot where we started today's adventure. Let's see if we can catch some more trout. One sixteenth of an ounce rooster tail with a very tiny little snap swivel on there to prevent line twist. Let's see if we can get one on a moving bait. My preferred way of catching trout on a spinner bait. Doesn't look like any of them are interested. Well, our honey hole from the start of this video was also a bust. So we are now heading upstream in hopes of finding some more fish. Stay tuned. We are coming to the end of the line on the upper limits of this creek. They only stock this creek bridge to bridge. So I went down to the bridge at the lower limits and we are about to be at the bridge at the upper limits. So hopefully we're about to catch something here or else I'm gonna have to turn around and hit some of the juicy spots on the way back. I don't see any fish out there. Usually not a good sign. All the way to the upper limits, all the way to the bridge. Oh. Yeah. And I walked all the way downstream to the other bridge to the lower limits as well. Boy, down there. Nah, the best hole is actually right there. Like no. right where you see the cars parallel with them to the creek. Here. Well, good luck to you, sir. I don't think you heard me. About to get a fish. I wasn't recording, but we just got one out of these rapids. Number nine for the day. Another stocky. And he's off. Probably the last one for the day. 